Hackers have posted stolen Manhasset School District files to the dark web after the district fell victim to a ransomware attack. News 12's Aileen LaPalmer has more on the theft and the potential fallout for the district and its residents. It doesn't really surprise me considering the things that they are hacking now. The Manhasset School District warning its employees and residents that personal information that was stolen by hackers has now been posted to the dark web. People we spoke to in Manhasset say, I mean, it's nothing new out there. So it's been happening. I know they have firewalls up, but I mean, I guess they're going to have to develop stronger ones. The district first notified residents a month ago that they had fallen victim to a ransomware attack where hackers demand money after hacking into and shutting down a computer network. In an email to the community, the acting Manhasset superintendent said, we were able to restore our computer systems from backups. As such, the district did not make any ransom payment to the criminals. However, the district says, the criminals posted certain files to the dark web that they stole from our servers. Those files include social security and driver's license numbers. The district says it will be contacting the people whose information was stolen and they will be offering complimentary credit monitoring. Never, ever, ever pay ransom. It is not a policy of mine and most other places, especially the, uh, the American way not to pay ransom. Cybersecurity expert Adam Schwamm with the Sandwire Technology Group says the Manhasset School District did the right thing, having their systems backed up and not paying the ransom. Paying a ransom does not mean that they're going to not put up your data. All that means is that you paid a ransom and they could come around and say, well, we want more money and in essence hold you hostage. It's not enough. In Manhasset, Eileen LaPalmer, News 12, Long Island. Other school districts have recently been hacked by ransomware hackers, including North Babylon last year and Rockville Center in 2019.